there's something wrong with your attitude when you're asking, right? Is there a difference? Let me ask you so I can make this point clear. Is there a difference between somebody asking you for water that just came into your house? And they're okay if they ask you for some water. Or somebody who's dying of thirst and they ask you for water. Is there a difference in the way they ask? There's a different way to ask, right? Someone who thinks if you give me water, it's nice, but if you don't give it to me, I'll be okay. Their attitude is, and if you don't give it to them, then you'll, they'll be fine, they'll forget about it too. But somebody who's dying of thirst, they will ask, and once they ask, what's happening? When they're done asking, what do they do? They're waiting impatiently. And when they don't see it after 10 seconds, what do they do? They ask again. Could you, could you get that, did you forget about that water? Could you get that water again? The way in which we ask Allah for guidance is very, very telling. It's a very good indication of how desperate we are for guidance. And if the way you and I ask Allah for guidance, if the way you ask Allah for guidance is not desperate, if the way I ask Allah for guidance is not desperate, you know what that proves to me? I don't have to prove it to anybody else. It proves to me that I am not really that desperately in need of guidance. If you send it to me, well and good. If not, I'll be, I'm doing okay. Everything's fine. The first thing that has to change is our desperation for guidance. We have to feel a desperation for guidance. This, is, this thing is so valuable, Allah doesn't just give it to whoever, he want, whoever wants it. You don't just casually ask for it. You have to have a certain way of asking. There's a certain way you and I have to build. And that has to happen in what institution? In Salat. In Salat, we have to stand and ask Allah for guidance in the most desperate way. That, that attitude needs to be there. 